the sportsman's best and most faithful companion. Wonder dogs, every one. Or if you prefer lots of company, a pack of American foxhounds. But it's not the fox they are hunting today. They're out for more dangerous game. Fearlessly, they chase across the terrain to corner or tree a bobcat, a very vicious animal found throughout the United States and Canada and known as the bay lynx. Running a bobcat, the hunters call it, and once these dogs are on the scent, they push on until the cat is cornered or treed. These American foxhounds are not fighting dogs, but will trail and corner foxes, coons, bobcats, bears, or even mountain lions. It's a great sport for the hunters, too, as they ride amid the glorious Arizona hills and majestic rock formations. They draw closer to the wildcat that is also fleet of foot and most dangerous when cornered. Now the cat is treed, and there it will stay. But if cornered on the ground, it will turn on its back and viciously claw the unfortunate hound that gets too close. Wildcat is surrounded, and it is victory for the hounds who bark their jubilance, and it's victory too for the hunters who choose this sport as supreme. For exceptional intellect and incredible instinct, none can surpass the pointers and setters, who, when out hunting the elusive ring-necked pheasant, present rare canine beauty and grace. Today our Ari setter, Red, will be kept at heel to retrieve the birds ferreted out by the other dogs. Off again through the woods to find and point another pheasant. The dogs precede the hunters. The pointer is flanked by the setter, who honors the pointer's action by staying a few feet to the rear. Slow getting underway, the pheasant is very fast in flight and noted for its ability to carry a great deal of lead. That is, to remain in flight after being hit with pellets from a gun. This one weighs about four pounds. The dog freezes into a point. The bird takes to the air, but a well-aimed shot brings him down, and Red, who has faithfully stayed at heel, scampers out for the retrieve. Dogs and men hunt with enthusiasm as another pheasant is scented. Another point. A good point. Head high, rigid body, high, rigid tail. His well-bred appearance upholds the traditions of his breed. The pheasant, unlike other hunted birds, is sometimes inclined to run in front of a dog. This will be the limit of pheasant for the day. Excellent points, well-placed shots, and rapid retrieves round out a day of grand and exciting sport for these hunters. Hunting woodcock differs insofar as the woodcock frequents cover and soft ground. This time the English setter points and shows rare form. Some setters are also excellent retrievers. There's a point. A remarkable picture of canine majesty. When the going is hard and the cover rough, the setter stands without up here. Although the woodcock has an offensive scent to dogs, our setter retrieves, like the champion he is. A stag hunt in England, a traditional sporting event. Riders resplendent in green coats, English foxhounds in a close pack, and the colorful master of hounds all join in searching out the red deer who tries to escape by crossing the river. It's an amphibious hunt over land and into the water with the hounds gradually closing in on the fast-moving deer. These foxhounds are powerful swimmers and bay wildly as they near their prey and start to surround him. The deer plunges forth, trying to find a footing, but until he is completely surrounded so the hunters may capture him, 
The hounds are relentless in their pursuit. Now he is trapped as the dogs drive him to shore. The Chesapeake Bay dog is greatly favored by duck hunters. A Native American breed, the Chesapeake's undercoat is heavily impregnated with water-resistant oil so he can stand the severe cold weather and icy waters. A marvelous retriever who only turns back because he thinks the ice isn't heavy enough to hold his weight or thin enough to break through easily. But his handler knows best, and so this wonder dog gives a remarkable exhibition of stamina as he doggedly breaks the ice to retrieve the stranded mallard duck. The Chesapeake is named for Chesapeake Bay, Maryland, one of the greatest wildfowl resorts of this continent. No dog of any breed can better withstand the roughness and very low temperatures of our coastal and inland waters. And surely, no dog of any breed is more tenacious in his determination to retrieve, no matter what the obstacle. These are French poodles, clipped or barbered for bench show purposes to the standard of recognized kennel clubs. But don't let that fool you. At heart, they are duck dogs, and good ones, too. In France, they are commonly used as retrievers, and seldom in this country do we find them used as sporting or hunting dogs. But devoid of the fancy costume, the inherent hunting blood comes to the fore, and the retrieving instinct is definitely apparent. Like the Chesapeake Bay, these French poodles take to the icy waters without flinching, and when there's a mallard duck as the prize, they'll always come back with the game. French poodles a la naturelle. That's the way the American sportsman wants them. So the next time you see a French poodle in the show ring, don't dismiss him as merely a lady's dog. Without the trimmings, he's really a he-man's dog. Again, we go west, where we come upon a flight of pintail ducks. The sure shot hunters are alert, and a well-aimed volley does the trick. Now we watch a Labrador retriever at work. Bred from Newfoundland stock, taken to England, and developed as dogs of sport, the Labradors are not only excellent retrievers, but fine work dogs for the intrepid huntsman. Broad of face, big brain, and flat skull head, these wonder dogs have short and close coats, an undercoat, and otter-like tails. They are far-sighted, even-tempered, and excellent companions. It's a lucky hunter that boasts a champion Labrador all his own. Close-ups like this thrill the lovers of fine dogs, especially champion Labrador. Out after Mallard this time, a retrieve far out in the lake. This duck refuses to take flight. Come and get me, if you can, says he, and it's a case of hide and seek, or now you see me, now you don't. Here's a test of canine stamina and the case of the missing duck. With his powerful shoulder and leg muscles, the Labrador swims on, refusing to give up. Sometimes these dogs will dive after the birds and even follow the birds underwater. Here is one of the greatest wonder dogs in action. He outsmarts the duck, and another prize is brought to bag.